As the crisis in Eastern Europe continues, a new poll from ECU weighs in on how North Carolinians feel about Russia's action and how the United States is handling it. Now to your sides, Claire Molay spoke with ECU's Director of Survey Research. Claire, what stands out about the survey results? Ken Courtney, Dr. Peter Francia, professor of political science at ECU, says his takeaway from this data shows most approve of the economic action against Russia. But when it comes to increased military action, the opinion is more divided. 76% of North Carolina adults said they do support sanctions against Russia, but not as many said they thought sanctions would actually work. The, the poll shows that Republicans are more pessimistic that the economic sanctions will stop Russian aggression in the Ukraine. Uh, Democrats are a bit more optimistic that those sanctions will lead to uh, Russia potentially ending um, its military uh, action in Ukraine. And almost 79% said they agree with the United States banning oil imported from Russia. However, support does drop for the ban on Russian oil as gas prices go up. He explains about half the respondents said they would no longer support the ban if the price of gas got up to $5 a gallon. Assistant Professor of Security Studies at ECU, Hannah Kassab, says support of banning Russian oil is likely so popular at this time because it is beneficial for both Ukraine and the United States. Because the money goes directly to the uh, military uh, spending of the country. And what we want to do, what we want to achieve is to halt the military expansion of Russia. And although still a minority, Francia says nearly one in three people said they believe American military troops should be deployed to assist Ukraine. And that is surprising. If we have uh, U.S. troops in Ukraine, um, you know, we're, we're talking about, um, you're talking, you know, very likely about World War III. So that, that number I thought would be a little bit lower. The, day, the data also showed that 39% of North Carolinians are very worried Russia may end up using nuclear weapons, which Francia says is a pretty high percentage considering what an extreme action that is. In studio, Claire Mollet, 9 on your side. Claire.